Your hate that you manifested and scrounged up from your homophobic followers has come full circle and exploded in your face. What an adult does in her private life is hers. Bridget Ziegler, you must resign. First tonight, demand for action. Dozens of parents, community members, and educators take over the Sarasota School Board meeting, confronting the wife of Florida's embattled GOP chair. They are calling for Bridget Ziegler's resignation from the board. It follows a rally held outside of the board meeting just hours before it started. All of this happening as her husband, Christian Ziegler, faces rape allegations from someone Mrs. Ziegler admitted the couple had been sexually involved with. He has not been criminally charged. And this is Nighttime. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. Just hours ago, every board member minus Bridget Ziegler voted to recommend she resign from her position. Dave and Carolina, this vote was largely ceremonial. The decision to step down now rests entirely with member Bridget Ziegler, and tonight she made no indication that she'd be doing that. Just one more time, this does not have any teeth. Is that correct? This board has no ability to uh, remove one of the other members. Sarasota School Board member Bridget Ziegler letting that question stand as one of her few comments tonight before all her fellow members voted to ask her to voluntarily step down, citing irreparably harmful distraction. She is Sarasota's George Santos. She turned our Excuse town into me. a laughing stock. Hours of public comment followed the vote, with some showing support for Ziegler. She has done nothing illegal. What an adult does in her private life is hers. But a vast majority urging her to step down, citing hypocrisy related to her past comments and positions on LGBTQ plus issues, including laying the groundwork for legislation dubbed Don't Say Gay. Now let me be clear. Participation in same-sex activities is not shameful. However, Bridget Ziegler has done this while simultaneously denigrating our community and working overtime to instill policies that directly marginalize us. You have been ardently opposed to LGBTQ plus rights when it turns out you're actually the B in that LGBTQ plus. <laughs> Now, without Bridget Ziegler voluntarily stepping down, the only other action that could lead to her removal begins with a suspension from the governor. Tonight, member Tom Edwards brought forward the idea of sending a letter to the governor, but it was shut down by the chair and vice chair. In Sarasota, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. The governor asked Bridget Ziegler's husband, Christian Ziegler, to resign from chair of Florida's GOP amid the assault allegations. However, he denied that request. This Sunday, the Florida GOP will hold a special meeting to discuss his future. We will stay on top of this story as it develops and bring you any updates on air and online at 10tampabay.com.